GPT-5 versus Kimi K2. Here we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Same exact prompt for GPT-5 and Kimi K2. Build a website for me for noble hacks and make the theme dark. It should look professional and have a wait list for a community and a newsletter. Colors should be nice and not cringe or childish. We have a lot of lines of code. More than 400, in fact. Before we run it, though, let's give the same exact prompt to Kimi K2. All right, GPT-5. The site looks nice. Somewhat better than I expected, actually. And this is without using the thinking model. I'm using the default GPT-5 model. I like the colors. Presentation isn't bad. Working tabs. And an awesome wait list. So overall, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Now let's check out how Kimi K2 did. That's kind of a surprise, really. I was expecting Kimi K2 to be better than GPT-5, but I think it's fair to say that GPT-5 in this case is the clear winner. Now to make it even better, we could use the prompting guide by OpenAI. Let me know if you wanna learn GPT-5 prompting in the comments section. Like and sub, and hey, have a good one.